The big flex pick coming in. It is going to be that Nautilus in the bottom lane. Alfar getting the Maokai on the top side. Cabo getting a tank of his own, so not going to be kind of the bloody brawls we saw coming in a day one on 7.3, where we only saw a Shen for tanks in the top lane. So a big change here already coming into day two. They might start the Baron, guys. That means Vitality will come stop them. That means we might get a fight. Vitality, 8K, move 7K. your butts. They know they're on the way. They're back. They're just back. That was too... Oh. Man, the coach is sitting backstage, and he's so proud. He's like, yes, we do not throw at Baron. It's fantastic. But everyone else. Cacao. Violence. Curtain call. One shot. Two. Oh, oh! Yes! First blood. 28 minutes in. We get it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. First blood. Whew. We can go next now. We got all we needed. That's right. Funny enough, the rest of Vitality did not want to save the support. Now, it was time for first blood. They all agreed. And now it's Baron time. Do we get second blood? Second blood? Notice how we've been 28 hits. minutes it took for the first kills. They're gonna take another 28 minutes. Oh, Cabo's in trouble. Kick goes in. Cabo knocks him out of the fight. Now moves back forward. Cabo's gonna fall. Could be the second one. Power Evil gets another one. That's a start. Nuke Duck now pulling backwards. He has to be safe. Misfits pulling away, turning their sights back onto the Baron. Well, we have Joko behind the Baron. He is spotted though, so they're gonna try and prevent him from stealing. Notice how Misfits are not killing the wards. That's really smart because then it gives zero information on the Baron. They're just keeping them there disabled. Oh, you know, Doug in trouble. Moving forward, Alfar gets the engage, but he's not going to get the follow up. Now moving back, AOD may get caught out again. Is that going to be another kill for Kakao? He's killed AOD once. He kills him again. Alfar waiting on the twisted advance. Pulls back. Misfits once again just taking their time. They what like trying to do the Baron. A block bath. This game is turned into three kills at 30 minutes. That's one kill every 10 minutes. That is actually insane. They're trying again. I told you guys, around Baron, we're gonna get the kills. Joko, oh, he's gonna get locked down. That is a guarantee, but flashes back to safety. Oh, and now he's delivered. Surprise! That's not where you wanna be. Moves back. Is safe for now, Kakao. Curtain call. Who's it gonna be Curtain's for? Steal back running. Hold on to mana. Third shot connects, fourth shot goes in. Alfari wants one for himself. He's gonna get one. And we're still looking at the perfect game. Misfits are just playing some really clean League of Legends where they don't give Vitality any chances. Jungle is dead now. No smite. Nuke Dog 50% HP. Steel back almost out of mana. And more Apple kills. Forward. Knocks back and then gets pulled forward. That was sick from Ignar. Oh, no denial on the Poppy. Ignar's hungry for blood though. He's gonna flash. Hey, the kill score's going up, you know? It's good. I mean, this is... This they started, Vitality walks in, Vitality dies, and then Misfit we got, gets we some got more clean kills. Macro, we got clean Baron, and people oh, are dying. We're Nuke both Duck. happy, but Nuke Duck's not going to be happy if they get this Baron. Well, going he's lower. not going to get it. Yeah, going to drop. Ezreal all close, but no cigar there. The hidden oh, gems are delivered back. Alfari's on the back line, so let's be the first death for Misfits. Are they going to take away the perfect game? Alfari, don't ruin it for your team. Oh, ah, gets knocked he back, ruined gets it. taken down. But you still have a great team fighting. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Cabo looks to find the disengage. No reconnect. Ignar might go down. No longer going to be the perfect game as it was earlier. Steelback finally gets a kill for himself, but AOD is caught out. He's set to fall. That's a little bit more going forward. Joko may get caught as well. Kakao is hungry for blood. Sonic Wave connects. No resonating strike to follow up. Starting Baron. The trigger. They have vision. They can see everyone coming in. Is there going to be a steel attempt? Steelback has no alt. We'll have it soon. Realmorp comes forward. Looks like Power of Evil wants to start a fight. Has to pull back as TP moves forward. Kakao goes over the wall. They're not going to go for the Baron. Left all alone. Hansama gets popped. Steal back on the back side. That's a great start for Vitality. This could be big. Joko left all alone. Leaps backward. Wants to get the team to safety. He's still alive. No. Flash forward. Kakao takes him down. It's too much. Cabo doing his best, but Nuke Duck just does not have enough damage. There are too many tanky members, but Steel back is here. He has the Blade of the Rune King. What can you do? He's slowly chipping down the life bars, but it just does not matter. Misfits are too far ahead. Cabo's going to try to stop the fight, but Misfits are going to keep it going. Hooked up, set to be knocked out. Tanky stats keep him healthy, but he's all but doomed <laughs> to die. And Kakao taking his sweet time. Just die? Oh, back. wait, never mind. Oh, well, wants for it. AOD. All right. Fancy moves. Props to Cabo. Makes it out in the end. Oh, oh Joko. Joko goes over, but it's way too early. Stealth up, leaps over. Kakao's pulled back to the team. Kakao may get dropped here. That could be a massive pick. 3k health. Joko can still move forward. Still has smite. Will he have leap in time? Cabo gets cut down. 
Curtain Call comes out, may just go wide, leap over the wall, he's not gonna get it! Cut down mid-air! Han Sama, absolutely no mercy. Misfits advance forward, steal back. Insane amount of damage coming from Elder. <laughs> that was one W. Ooh. With Infernal Drake to Death be fair. Deathfire touch. Yeah, yeah. Half health him. They're still going. Where are you gonna go, Nuke Duck? Oh, Nuke Duck, Juke him, Juke him, Juke him. Run from the cat, Nuke Duck. It's not a cat, though, is it? I, he's dressed up like a cat. Don't assume his identity. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tidal Wave goes in, Tower goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very likely to be Wait, it. Nuke Duck is here. He made his way back. Ah, Cabo he's can't flanking. knock anyone out. Knocks the tanks out. Nuke Duck has the exhaust dropped on him. Don't know how much he's going to get. Misfits just going to turn their attention to the base. They say, we'll keep it clean in the end. No need for more kills. Slow and steady for Misfits. Hard to really critique a whole lot because they play fantastic early game, fantastic mid game. We didn't have first blood until, what, 29 minutes? Yeah. Picks up the Nami once again, but someone stepping out of their comfort zone is Power of Evil, getting his hands on the Talia, a champion he has yet to play this season. And this is two games in a row where he's played something new. Misfits slowly, steadily snowballed, but they don't have late game assurance once again. Joko is trying again, though. Afari no level, level six, 6 for him. Level 6 is available for Cabo Shard. Afari has to try to find a way out. He may get taken down. First blood drops for Joko, and that's a great start. No level 6 for the bot lane yet. Joko has ulti as well. Now, Kakao is nearby. TP, TP coming in. Maybe looking to find a play here. They're going to ult to try to go all in here. Poppy's on the back side. Hansama running for his life. Ignar gets shot. Kabo flash forward, knocks him to the wall. Hansama set to fall. He's going to drop. Ignar will he be next. Dodges out the bubble. But Kakao is on the way in. Does get hit by a nice shot, though. Is going to stop the advance. Kakao could be next. Waiting, backing off. Has to flash to safety. That is a beautiful oh, fight. Telia's coming. Telia's coming. Where's the wall from Power of Evil? Waiting. Wall goes in. Who's going to get cycled out? No one. Very late from the. Power of Evil here. Needed to get in range first, though. TP's going in behind. This could be a big fight for Misfits. Waiting on the ultimate. Where's the Weaver's wall? Kakao goes forward. Steelback goes out. Power of Evil flashes over the tidal wave. That's beautiful. Wall goes forward. AOD not going to find comfort in the Misfits jungle. He gets locked down. He's set to fall. Hansama cashes in, and Misfits find a kill in the mid lane. Overall, Misfits still with a very commanding lead, and not quite as clean as we saw last game, but still very much in control. Afari a little hungry for blood here, maybe looking for the bait in. Does just hook shot over, wall dives out. In comes the tidal wave, someone's gonna get knocked up. Ignar uses the void ship to block one shot. Alfari's been singled out, looks like he may go down. Alt to try to block the damage, but he's just buying time for the escape. Weaver's wall, Nuke Duck caught out, he's gonna get locked down. That's a quick pickup for Misfits, and now Baron might be in their sights. Misfits are setting up for it. Nobody get something. Joko not spotted out quite yet. Curtain call going in. 3k ever lower. Joko, can he find the hero moment? Fari caught on the front side. Misfits are pulling back. They don't want to risk the 50-50. And Cabo just going to encourage them to head back to the base. We see Misfits start with the dragon here. Personal comfort or raw power. Joko does get locked up. That means the dragon's going to drop. Oh, that's a ton of damage from Alfari. Joko's going to fall. Wall is there to stop the advance. Good tidal wave from AOD to stop anything else. Oh, Kakao moving forward onto Nuke Duck. This is the alternative version where someone gets caught and Misfits yeah. take down Nuke Duck, and now the Baron looks a little bit easier. It's like Vitality has not seen this movie yet. Oh, moving forward, Alfari locked down AOD. There's one drops, two set to follow. Misfits, they don't even need the Baron now. They oh. can take whatever they'd like. This is like every horror movie ever. Because we've oh. seen all this before. And it doesn't really surprise us anymore. Oh, Joko locked up again. Alfari, are they going to be able to knock him out? Yes, but it's not enough. Cabo could be next to fall. Misfits now trying to break the inhibitor line as well. Three healthy members, two at about 50%. And it's just all too easy. Nuke Duck comes in, though. Curtain call on the side. Who can they block for? Alfari leaping to safety. Power of Evil. Not even going to be in trouble. Ball goes out, but the Shock Blast not even empowered. They're like, let's talk They're about on it. on Baron, Draco. Yeah, they want it. Lee Sin maybe trying to find a way in. It is just going to get burst down, though. Nice communication coming in from Misfits. Nuke Tug looks to get over the wall with a Shock Blast, Man, but I love nothing's going to happen. I just love their Barons. Jungler jumps in. They literally stop DPS on Baron instantly. There's not that one guy who's like, oh, I'm just giving it a few more hits, you know? No, no. Instant stop. Kill the Lee Sin. Still 2k HP on the Baron. Then we take it down and Kakao can smite it. Like, they're so good around Baron. Daku has definitely been uh, forcing the team into like practicing these Baron plays.
Camille is fed just because she's on two items and she's Camille, so it doesn't matter what a score is. And then, yeah, Power Beaver is uh, being a beast. Great call. Misfits start to realize that it doesn't do quite as much damage as they expected. Ignar does take a lot from the Shock Blast in the end, and Misfits move in to take their first inhibitor. Eyes on the second one as well. And at some point, if you have Vitality, you gotta man up. Just get in there. Like, you're not gonna win the game by watching them take every single inhib down. As a player, you never feel like you can do anything in a game like this. You just feel like the game is lost almost instantly. Oh, Afari goes forward, knocks up. He is going to use the Hextech Ultimatum. Kakao's going crazy on the backside, but Draven's going to grab the kill onto Nuke Duck. Steelback trying to get something back. The wall in. They're not even going to make it into the fountain. Joko has to flash to safety. Misfits in absolute control, and it's just an absolute slaughter. Slow and steady wins the race, 9-3 to three in kills, and a 2-0 series for Misfits. Means they're gonna close it out with a perfect week. Too early, man. Now they wanna fight on the side of Vitality when they push all the way down to the fountain. Just does not matter. 2 0 for Misfits. Clean games, clear calls. At the end of yeah. the day, it's just beautiful to watch.